Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Builders. This should be episode 40. Can't believe I made it 40 episodes so far. That is pretty crazy. Pretty nuts. And today we are going to continue working on the hotel. And as you can see, I've finished the roof and the walls on the next floor. And, well, I guess it's time to work on the windows. And what was I going to talk about? Was it E3? Yes, I think I was going to actually talk more about E3. But what happened? Man, because, I mean, I work for a video game website. And no, I didn't, was not able to go this year. <sighs> yeah. Did not have the money to. That's probably why. And you're wondering, website didn't pay you? No, it did not. It's not that. It's not like I work for IGN, which could easily pay for everyone, which is the biggest video game website out there. Um, anyway. Um, if anyone's curious what website I do work for, VG Charts, VGCharts.com with Z, V-G-C-H-A-R-T-Z dot com. Check it out. Um, yeah, that's about, about all I'm going to need to say. If you're interested, check it out and stuff. Uh, come on, keep, keep filling in. Keep, keep, keep filling in. There we go. Just figured do all the windows first. And yes, E3, so I watched all the press conferences, got all my news from home. There were some people who were able to make it this year from our sister website, Gamer Review. Um, basically, the websites will pay for the hotel room and stuff, but you still have to pay for the uh, plane ticket. And right now, I don't, did not have the money because, not because I'm poor, because, well, I'm not rich, but... Because of my damn car. <laughs> yeah. Because of my damn car having problems. Two big problems in like a span of like two months. Which between the two cost me a ton of money. Yeah. Kind of suck. But what can you do, you know? So. Anyway. Car problems happen. Some stupid. Some stupid like little computer part or something broke and I had to get my inspection done I had to get it replaced and that cost me 600 bucks and then I had three bad I had a tire that went flat and I knew I was gonna need four tires soon well and the guy was like three of the tires you need to be replaced the other one can go maybe another five six thousand miles I'm like he's like but you know I suggest you replace them all, but you don't have to. I'm like, eh, well, yeah, I might as well get them all replaced now, to just so they're all the same. And the guys are good. They actually, I don't know if I ever mentioned this before. I was parked at my friend's driveway. He lives in a house that's been turned into like three different apartments, and there's other tenants there. Basically, I was parked at his place. We go out, we come back, and there's a huge dent. Someone whacked my bumper in a freaking driveway. It's like, really? You've got to be kidding. That was in G December. I would say that was December. And, well, yeah. It was pretty bad. But these guys, when I got my tires changed, they actually shockingly fixed the dent. I was like, what? I got the car. I didn't even notice it. They didn't tell me. I get home. Well, maybe because all the main guys who worked there, who actually worked on the car, had gone home at that point. It's just whoever was at the cashier was there. I guess he didn't know. But um, I get home. I park. I go out. I go to the back of the car. I was like, something looks normal. What? And I was like, oh my goodness. The dent is dented out. They, they punched it out. I don't know. Whatever the heck they did. And you could barely tell it was ever there. Which is freaking awesome. So, yeah, that's the best way to put it. It's just freaking awesome that they actually fixed it. It's sweet, sweet, the zero one. But, yeah. Room. No, no, no. Room. Zero one. Two oh one. Room. Two oh two. And room 203, because it's the second floor. Makes sense, doesn't it? I would hope so. Anyway, room 301, and room 302, and room 
303, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Those are the rooms. But I shall work on the rooms last. So anyway, that's that that was my card card deal. Card dealio. Um anyway, let's see. We've got the desk thing here. And like a cash me like a No, I don't I don't want snow here. You're talking about snow, you silly. Quartz. Is why not? Cash register. There we go. Now, see, you get breakfast. Cut down to breakfast in hotels, even though it's medieval time, and you probably did not have any thing like this, especially with some food there in the tavern right there. But if you guys want some minor breakfast, I'm gonna give it to them. I'm going to give it to them. I'll do stone this time. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Boom! Table number one. This is a smaller table. With only two chairs. Uh huh. See? See? Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm not, there's actually not much room here for tables, is there? Whoops. Whoops, the daisy, there's another one there, and uh, that'll be in the way. I have another idea. Boo, books. I the books, give me some books, the books, the books, the books, the books. Books. There we go. A little. Sitting area in the corner here. With some books to read. If you guys want to relax. Yeah. yeah. I don't like that at all. I don't like that one at all. Sweet. 101. There we go. Because it's floor one. It's full sweet number one. Okay. I know it's the only sweet, guys. You don't have to tell me. Anyway. Nah. What else do we need? Do we need some? I. Ah, God, I don't. Like, what, what goes into a hotel room? I have no idea. Chests. Chests, maybe? More chests? Sure, more chests. For stuff. Ah, uh, da da da. Workbench. I mean, crafting table. God. I still call it a workbench. Even though it's a crafting table. Oh boy, what's wrong with me? Ugh. Anyway, well, I was gonna talk about E3, and I've just been sidetracked. Eh, boy. And a sweet. And a sweet. What do you need a sweet? Need a bed. No, 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 no. You, you need a bed. You need a bed. You need a bed. There. <laughs> I'm all kidding. That's, that's uh... <sighs> oh man. Four. That's just way too big. But three. But then it's off. It's crooked if it's three. So I'm gonna have to do two. It's just too crooked. I don't like it like that. All right, now. Gonna have a whole kitchen area right here. See? Small kitchen area. Small. Boom. See? Little kitchen area. No, 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 no. Actually, kitchen area like that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I have no idea. It's like, it's like, alright, what do I do? What do I do? I only have so much time to do stuff. Oh, duh. Like, I feel like I'm missing something. What should it be? Cauldron, sink. I need a sink. I need a sink. Sink? Thank you. Oh, you know what's missing? 
You guys know what's missing? <laughs> I'm doing it, guys. Oh, yeah. It'll work as a shower. Oh, I know what I need. Lever, lever. Da 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 da. There we go. Boom. Perfect. 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 This is the suite. I could also use some of this stuff. Look at that! Look at that! Heck yeah! Uh, da, 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 da. There's the chest da, 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 that I want. There's some more chest down. No. Chest down. Chest. Chest. No. Chest. Yes. Ah. Uh... Flower pot shall go right here and there. You shall some have some saplings. No, never mind. Damn it. Whatever, good enough. I think that's good for a suite. It's got a whole kitchen area. All right, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. God, this whole area is so dark. It's so dark. Torch. Frame. Trap door. And I guess I should start rambling on about E3. Like I said last time, I worked for a video game website. Or was that this episode? Now I'm forgetting when I've said this stuff. Whatever. I work for a video game website, VG Charts. Um, I couldn't go to the E3 this year. Didn't have enough money. Um, uh, let's see what else to add. Stuff. <sighs> really? You're going to start raining now? It means all the freaking time in Minecraft. It's absolutely ridiculous. Alright, so anyway, as I was trying to say, I couldn't go to E3. I watched the press conferences from home. I know everyone was like, God, Microsoft. Ah, ah. Oh, they don't have any games, and then they showed off 12, 13 exclusives. Absolutely, it was kind of crazy how much stuff they actually ended up showing off. I was like, man, that's a lot of games. A lot of games, but people are all complaining about the fact that it always has to be online. And, and they say you can't sell your used games, but you can to certified um, stores which I'm just going to assume GameStop is one of those stores so it's probably Best Buy and probably all, all the big all the big chains that everyone probably buys their games at are okay but the thing is it's like best way to put it is Steam you can't sell your games on Steam what are you gonna do you know and people don't complain about that but you know Probably because Steam has a bunch of always has a bunch of sales. You can get games dirt cheap on Steam, which Microsoft did do that recently on the 360 for the first time. I got some games dirt dirt cheap, and they actually at least right now I don't know if they're going to continue it on the Xbox One. They given away two, two, for every month uploading to the Xbox One release, they're giving away two free games on the Xbox 360 for download. Um, actually, one of them is already already out. I was like, oh, look, Fable 3 is free. I was like, oh, look at that. I downloaded it. So I'm like, eh, it's not bad. It's not Fable 2 or 1, but, you know, not bad. Um, anyway. What was I going to say? Um, then EA had their press conference. It started off so strong. They sh they started off with Plants vs. Zombie Garden Warfare, and it's freaking hilarious. It's like, it was just hilarious. And then, 
They showed off some other games. They, sh I mean, they ended off with Battlefield 3 64 multiplayer, 64 play multiplayer, 32 by 32, and that's just absolutely ridiculous. Like, 32 versus 32 people in multiplayer. How ridiculous can you be? I mean, it's absolutely nuts. It's nuts. Um, I better actually start working on these rooms here. Okay, so what do we need? Oh, that's actually it's a big room. It's a big room, actually. I can't believe I get rid of get rid of this guy. Whoops! I wanted. Oh man, I'm so all over the place today. So all over the place. Anyway, I'm probably not gonna finish this on camera. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Where is it? There it is. There it is. Give me this. Give me this. And I'll do the rest of the stuff later. Plant. Plant. Why can't. Seriously. Is there any reason why I can't add a sapling? Now, what the heck? That's odd. That was weird. Now it's working! Um, anyway, E3. EA had their thing. Um, it was actually kind of funny. Someone someone came out and was like, Pagel 2! And it was like, I've never seen someone so excited for Pagel, but it was actually kind of funny. It was like, this was actually hilarious that this guy said that. I was like, Pagel 2, oh my goodness! Oh man, not Pagel. It's gonna be nuts. Nuts. Crazy. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Put you down. No. Why would you go there? Why would you go there? Anyway, 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 anyway. Continuing on. Wish stuff about uh, stuff stuff for Rooney. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. EA went Ubisoft. U U Ubis Ubisoft went on. They showed off some a uh, cool. They showed off more Watch Dogs. Everyone knows what. I'm sure everyone knows Watch Dogs. At least I would think. It's a pretty cool looking game. I'm getting it. I am getting it. Um, I guess I should go back to Microsoft. Really, it's just. People saw it and they were all happy. They were all happy. And then Sony was like, uh, our, our system's cheaper. And everyone was like, oh, Sony! It's like, but you guys were just so happy with Microsoft starting off so many games. I mean, they start off with Metal Gear Solid 5, not, I'm assuming, not an exclusive. I mean, it'd be odd if Metal Gear Solid wasn't exclusive. But then again, most of the games Sony showed were not exclusive either. Yeah. Um, Microsoft showed off Dead Rising, which... Dead Rising 3. A zombie game. It looks spectacular. That's why I'm getting it at launch. They showed off a game called Rise. You're like a Roman leader and something with war and Rome. It's pretty cool. Actually, I'm like... That game actually kind of made me say... Cool. It looked awesome. Um, they announced a new Halo game. They did not call it Halo 5, even though it will more than likely will be Halo 5. I'm assuming it'll be Halo 5. I better be Halo 5. Well, anyway, I'm excited for any Halo game, because I loved Halo since the original, which is why I got the Xbox when I did. When I did. Anyway. Let's just continue filling... this stuff in. I need more plants. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. I want you. Go there. Go there. Not there. Not there. On top, please. Um, and Microsoft concluded their press conference showing off a new game called Titanfall, and that game, I was just like, <gasps> must get game. Comes out in the spring, too. I was like, well, that's, actually, that's not that far off, considering it was just announced. I was surprised. Like, oh, wow, spring. Not bad. Not bad. It's like, oh, wow, Microsoft actually has a lot of games. They got Dead Rising. 
coming out as a launch as an exclusive launch title. Jeez, I have a hold on. Like, hold on, let me get let me get my let me get the list up. Um Let's see, let me get this thing over. Okay. Let's see. Uh Forza Motorsport 5. Come on. There you go. Um Quantum Break, which is the new game from uh, Remedy, who uh, are the creators of Max Payne 1 and 2. And they showed off... Well, it was announced anyway beforehand. Connect Sports Rivals is just, I'm assuming... That's probably the game that's going to be bundled with all systems. I wouldn't be surprised about that one. There we go. Stuff there. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. All right, anyway, um, I'm trying to think what these other games were. I, I'm like, I don't remember what some of these other games were. I feel silly. Uh, Max, The Curse of Brotherhood. God, I'm trying to remember what that was. I know a lot of the games look cool. That one I don't remember exactly. Uh, Rise, I said, with the Rome. Roman action game. It, that also looks awesome. Um, pa -pa 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 Get out of here. I don't want you. I'll worry about putting that in later. Oh wow, I can actually still open those. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. I keep putting these in over here. It's like what? 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 Okay, that's not too bad actually. Now to uh... actually that should work there. Uh, let me see what else on my list. Sunset Overdrive. Uh, it was from creators of Ratchet and Clank, I believe. Looks kind of look like Team Fortress to me. Kind of. Like its quirkiness, the art style, but it definitely wasn't. Obviously, because it's a different name, and they would probably get sued if it was. It's really similar. Anyway, but that also looked good. I just say, just, I say, just go online and look for trailers. Uh, I mean, these are just the exclusives they showed off. Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft. I know. Ooh, Minecraft! Yay! Xbox One Edition. Wait. Yeah, I'm playing Minecraft! What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, it's basically gonna have bigger... The world's size is gonna be bigger than in Minecraft, the 360, Xbox 360 Edition. It's gonna be bigger multiplayer, they said. Whatever. I have no idea what that means. Not a clue. I think I'm done with, actually, the, the rooms. So what else am I gonna add into a room at this point? TVs? Wait! TVs don't exist! Didn't exist! Let me just do. Do, 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 do. Okay, you go there. You go there. Do the same thing <clears throat> with this bad boy here. Except just the one. I remember the two. Yeah, the two. So we've got space there, and we've got space here to do stuff. Otherwise, I say the rooms are done. Simple, yet, I think to me, work quite, quite well. Quite well. Actually, yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go down below. Um, Crimson Dragon, which is, I'm, I'm assuming it's made by Sega, possibly. Um, it's, it's the spiritual successor to, um, Panzer Dragoon, pa pan Panzer Dragoon Orda, or Panzer Dragoon, or whatever. God, what's the name? I think that's what it's called. Um, it's a rail shooter with dragons. It's, it's, it's different. It's, it's a little, a little different, but it looked interesting. Um, I'll probably be getting that because I did love Panzer Dragoon. I think it was Panzer Dragoon Order. Let me check. Is it right next to me or is it down? Eh, it's downstairs. I've got Xbox games up in my room and downstairs. You know what? Nah, just a regular seat, seating area like that. And I shall have a little bit of lighting. For people over here, and I might as well throw down tables for people to sit at. Uh, da da da, and just do no. I'm going to do. Like that. No, I'm not gonna do something like that. I'm gonna do something like that. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's 
that's an odd seating arrangement. Actually, oh, that's, per oh, oh, that, wow. Look at that. That is perfect. Look at all the couches. Amazing. I did not see that coming looking so perfectly like a couch. Nice. Like it, like it, like it a lot. And I might as well. Over here. Here. Um, anyway, continuing on with Xbox stuff. Um, other exclusives, I mean, the new Halo game, Dead Rising 3, it's just a zombie game where there's hundreds of zom- thou- no, hundreds- ah, hundreds- that's such a small number. Thousands of zombies you have to kill. Uh, another game called Titanfall, made by Reese- Is that Respawn Studio? Respawn Entertainment? I'm not- I can't quite remember. But, anyway, it's a interesting first-person shooter. Another exclusive, although it's, it's coming out on the- Xbox One, the 360, and the PC. Um, they did gave a teaser for their new studio, Black Tusk Studios. It was like five seconds. I'm like, it looked cool, whatever this was. I have no idea. Uh, there'll be DVR ability. Twitch TV will work so you can actually live stream stuff. So, guys, when I get the Xbox One, I will be live streaming. Guaranteed. At some point, I will be live streaming stuff. Um... Yeah, live. Um, if you have Xbox Live Gold, you'll be getting two free games a month. Um, and, and you only need one. And, and now you only need, I think, if I remember this correctly, it was only one Xbox Live Gold uh, per month. Uh, per, per month. Per, per Xbox One. So basically, you only need one person have Xbox Live Gold to be able to play games online on, a, on, on an Xbox One. Which is definitely awesome. It's like, huh. Oh, so they take away some stuff, but they give you some stuff, kind of a thing. Oops, not, not that. Time set zero, please. <laughs> yeah, of course I turn on the rain. Why would, why would that? <sighs> yeah. Anyway. It was actually, it was pretty cool stuff. I mean, I prefer shooters. Myself. I know, if you like Japanese RPGs, you know, Japanese style games, the PlayStation is, is for you. Even though I know Final Fantasy 15 and Kingdom Hearts 3 are multi-platform. Um, I mean, I know this. I mean, Watch Dogs is coming out basically on everything. Actually, I think it is coming out on everything, except maybe handhelds. I'm not sure it's coming out on the Vita or 3DS. I'm not sure about those. I feel like I, I need some. T I need. Yes, this is what I need. I have an idea, guys. I have a crazy idea. Call me crazy. If you want. But, watch. No, I already got the oak. Watch this. Boom! Bush in the corner. It's a bush in the corner. And I shall do the same. Spruce. Jungle. Jungle leaves. Birch. Boom! Perfect. However, now I need some more chests. And, um. Let me think. Hold on. I think I have... I'm pretty sure I... Do, 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 yes, I have. I have lists of the exclusives that were announced for the different consoles. Alright. There we go. Now, this is like comparing exclusives when it comes to the Xbox One versus the PS4. Uh, one of the exclusives is Diablo 3, even though I'm pretty sure... I mean, obviously it's a PC game. It's also come out on the 360 and PS3. Um... Final Fantasy XIV, which is also PS3, but that's not coming out on 360. Um, it's Final Fantasy XIV is the MMO RPG. That, for the most part, I mean, when it first came out, there it was it had a lot of problems. Although I'm sure I'm sure, uh, being Square Enix, they've gone ahead and fixed everything. Um, deep down, I can't remember what that was actually. Shoot, I don't remember. Um, Drive Club, which was some kind of racing game. I'm not a fan of racers, so I'm not... Not like it's something I particularly are in awe about. You know, it's not like... <gasps> Amazing. Amazing stuff. Uh, da, 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 I need... Ugh, darn it. 
Actually, before I put some more seeding down, I'm just gonna let me just finish this stuff up here. Finish this stuff. Yeah. Let me do spruce leaves. Um. Anyway, drive club deep down. I don't remember what it was. Um, infamous looked really cool. Um. Well, it's I mean it's infamous. So what do you expect? <laughs> it's like a crate. It's a crate. How do I explain infamous? I have no idea how you, how to explain infamous. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. I know that that's the most helpful thing you guys ever heard. It's cool. Yay, it's cool. There's stuff. You shoot. Yeah, there you go. That's the one I didn't use. Uh, actually, you know what? That's... It's totally overkill. Get rid of that one. Um, kill zone, Shadowfall, first-person shooter. Um, Knack. I don't... I can't remember. Knack. Um, the Order 18... 86 and The Witness. So it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine exclusives for the PS4, and I think I had 15 on the, um, the, the Xbox One. So technically, Microsoft did show off more games, but of course, the PS4 is $400, the Xbox One is $500. Um, Xbox One has to be online at least once every 24 hours to verify the, the games, but the Xbox One, you can install all your games. And say your Xbox dies. Or you go away to a friend's house. You just log in and you can just install your games right there without having to have the disc with you. Which I thought was pretty cool. I don't know if everyone agrees. But I was like, that's actually pretty cool stuff. In my opinion. But that's just me. That's just me. I'm like, that is actually really cool. Uh... Yeah. Oops. And Microsoft did announce the um, on the Xbox One. You can share your games with up to fa ten family members, and these ten family members don't have to be blood relatives. Number one. Number two. Number two. Uh, ba 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 ba. Um, they don't have to be on the same Xbox, so you could actually share your games with ten friends of yours. But you have to be friends with them for thirty days. Yeah. I know. Oh, no. Not 30 days. Um, Basically, you have to be friends with them for 30 days. And only one... P and It's not like you share it with 10 people that can all play at the same time. Only one of your... F I think either... I think only one... You and of your, of your friends who you share the games with, only one person can play the game at a time. But so, what? They get to play games for free. Which I was like, oh. Well, that kind of... Definitely changes things up a bit. Like, oh, that's actually really cool. And also, yeah. I mean, for, for me personally, obviously it depends what games you like. Depends on what console you can end up getting overall. Uh, for me, obviously, I prefer the games on the Xbox. I love Halo. I mean, Gears of War is Gears of War. I mean, that'll stay. Um, Microsoft would be dumb to get rid of that as an exclusive. Um, I love Dead Rising. Titanfall just looked too awesome. And Rise also for a launch title. I mean, like, wow, these launch titles are a lot better than the uh, original Xbox. I'm um, not Xbox, no. Uh, compared to the Xbox 360, which had Perfect Dark Zero and Project Gotham Racing. I think that was about it. Maybe Dead or Alive. I think it had Dead or Alive, too, which, eh. I think it's something I care about. Um, not sure. I was going to add some seating in here. Get out of here. No. Seating, should I go right here? No, 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 here's good. Here's good. Yeah, that ought to work. A lot more stuff. The hotel. A lot of stuff going on in here. Kind of cool, actually. I, I like the... I Yes, you want Why is a desk like a weird shape? Why not? I just figured, why not? I'll have a desk that's a different shape. You know, just for me, I was like, you know, I'll do something a little different instead of something that's not quite so... Blocky in a way, you know? And. Actually, I have a crazy idea. I have a crazy. Crazy. Crazy idea. But anyway, guys, it's all up to you what console you get. I mean, I don't care. People are all complaining about the Xbox One. But for me personally, it's what I'm getting. Anyway. 
And, yeah, I guess it's really about all to say. And Watch Dogs, I'm getting... Basically, I'm getting the Xbox One Day One. And I'm getting Dead Rising 3. Um, wow. Rise. And, um... Not there. Um, Watch Dogs. Yes, I know, obviously, it's coming out on the 360, but obviously, might as well get on the Xbox One, because it's... Obviously, it should be... God, it's one too low, apparently. One too, one too low. Um, it'll be better on the next generation consoles. At least I would assume it would be better on them. Anyway. One, two, three, four. That's what I'm getting at launch. And also, my brother wants to get the Xbox One. So, uh, we're, getting, we're, we're getting one Xbox One between us, and we're splitting the cost. So, technically, for me, the Xbox One is cheaper, because it's going to be $250. Because splitting it in half with my brother. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, this is the best way to put it. Um... Oh, I just, I just had a brilliant idea. Oh my goodness, I just had a great idea. Wow. It just occurred to me now. There. <laughs> They're like, that was it. Yeah, little overhang. God, that's so that's so lame looking. Hold on. Oh, you know what? You know what, guys? Oh man, I'm just yeah, yeah. And if anyone's curious, yes, I will be getting the other consoles at some point in the future. I'll probably get the Wii U first because next year, when once um Super Smash Brothers and Mario Kart Eight comes out. That's when I'll be getting the, the Wii U. And then the uh, PS4. I'm not even sure when I'll be. I'll be getting that at some point, the PS4. Um, right now, for this current generation, I only have the Xbox 360. And, P and I'm always doing, obviously, PC gaming. And just do some lighting. There we go. That's just to... Uh, this is just kind of to mix up the look a little bit of it, so it's not... And I'm actually... Whoops. Wrong one. I actually think this should be... One f further out, personally speaking. I think that's a little bit better, cause of, just because it looks too small compared to how big this building actually is. Sorry, you're you're too close now. You are too close. But yeah, if um if anyone's actually getting any of the next generation consoles, or which one you'll be getting first, you know, I guess leave a comment below. You know, I'm gonna get the PS4 launch. I'm gonna get the Xbox One launch. I'm not getting either a launch, but I'll be getting the PS4 first. I'll be getting the Xbox One first, or I'm not gonna get either. I'm just curious what you guys think of what you want to get, what you guys will be getting yourselves. Um, yeah, I guess it's really about. It to say at this point. Actually, how would it look if I did this? I'm just doing this. Yeah, but then you look inside, it's just weird. Alright, never mind. Fail experiment, fail experiment. There we go. I guess that's good, actually, guys. I guess that's it for the hotel. My rant about the Xbox One, the PS4. I can understand why you get one or the other. I mean, I don't really care. I'll own them all at some point. Just right now, at launch, there's more games on the Xbox One I prefer. And I love Halo. Not everyone likes Halo. Not everyone likes shooters. I like shooters. You guys like RPGs and stuff? Japanese RPGs? Obviously, I would recommend get the PS4, not the Xbox One. But if you love shooters, also, if you love football, get the Xbox One. If you love the TV stuff, the extra stuff they've thrown in there, I guess I would say get the uh, Xbox One. Yeah, get the, the stuff. What was the stuff they threw in there? The, the NFL stuff. The sports stuff they've added in, the 
TV. I mean, they're coming out with a Halo TV show for the Xbox One. Hello. Heck yeah. Can't miss that one. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's Spruce. What? Didn't I put that down? Thank you. I'm like, didn't I put that down somewhere? So it's just all this different stuff looks cool, and I love, I trust Remedy to make a good game, so I'll probably be getting, uh, oh, that's where that ended up. Probably be getting Quantum Break whenever that actually ends up coming out. Right now, it's like, what exactly are the launch titles and not launch titles? I'm not 100% certain yet for either of the consoles. <clears throat> I mean, there's a, f there's a handful that are known, but there might there'll probably be more than that. I'm sure, you know, there'll be multi-plat games, all the, you know, Call of Duty, and, and stuff. Call of Duty Ghosts. So, um, I like shooters, but, eh, on, I'm eh on Call of Duty, you know, it's... It's kind of like, it's not that, it's not that I hate it, it's just, yeah, it's okay. So, yeah. No. 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 Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Well... I'm just like, what do I do now? That's not gonna work actually there. Never mind, I guess it's about it for my rant. I mean, you know, I don't really care. You, everyone gets what they like. You like what you like, you don't like what you don't like. Whatever. Not a big deal in my eyes since I will be owning all four systems at some point. That was really close together. Uh but actually, uh, this hotel, overall, actually, I like it. It does, it serves its purpose. However, it does need something. That, I'm gonna put, right here. Sign. Hotel. Boop. Hotel. There we go. And guess what? Hotel. Might as well just stick it all the way around. Hotel. And that looks horrible. Never mind. Get out of here, signs. Dread. Uh, ba -ba -ba. That looks horrible, too. How am I going to do a sign that says, Psst, guys, hotel. 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 There. There you go, hotel. That, that, that ought to work. But yeah, overall, I think this came out pretty good. Good, I like it. We got the suite here. Little seating area for food and stuff, even though there is no actual food around, because, yeah, when we put a cake down on the ground or something, that'd be kind of silly. Room one there. Um, the room above it is the same. Smaller room there, bigger room here. Same room up there, same thing up above. Little seating there, seating he little seating here. Seating there to read books and stuff. I guess it's about it, little bushes. I think this can't turned out pretty nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And I guess time to end my video game rant. As I said, you like what you like. You get what you want to get. People are like, oh, people are stupid to get the Xbox One now. <laughs> Microsoft is scr screwing over the, the the video game market for being online only and stuff. I'm like, so. 90%, I think like 90% of the world has internet fast enough to handle it. And it's like, there are pluses to it. You know, you can share it with your friends. They can play it. Your console dies. You get, your disc gets scratched up. You go to your friend's house. Whoops, I forgot the game. Oh, that's right. I can just log in and download it on your system, friend. There you go. That's all you gotta do. You know, there are pluses, there are minuses. Obviously, if you don't have good enough internet, obviously that's a big minus stuff. But yeah. 
I really, th although I really think personally, the biggest thing is the price. Oh, I actually made that jump. Amazing. Anyway, it's but you know, five hundred dollars versus uh, four hundred dollars. Yeah, that's the big, the big, the big killer. But I really think at, at launch, at least in the for uh, with Titanfall. Personally, the Xbox has more games for me than the PS4 does at launch, which is why I'm getting the Xbox One, besides the fact that my brother wants it too, and we're splitting the cost in half. And yes, I will, as I said before, I will be live streaming my games. I don't know if I'll be talking or I'll just be playing the game and you guys can watch. I'll figure it out. I don't know how exactly I'm going to be able to get everything set up. I do have a Twitch account. It's not the Alpha Tomato. It's my old account. I just figured to keep it the same. Trunks WD. If anyone's curious, if you ever see Trunks WD, that is me. And actually, if anyone... You know what? I'm going to let this out there. Which is probably a bad idea. But if anyone wants to play games with me on the Xbox 360 or be friends with me on the Xbox 360, Trunks WD is my gamer tag. And obviously, I'll keep it for the Xbox One. So anyway, guys. There's my gamer tag. Oh, man. Alright, guys. I guess it's time to call this an episode of The Minecraft Builders. That was my two cents of the video game systems. As I said, Xbox One first, Wii U next year, when Mario Kart 8 and Super Smash Bros. come out. I'm sure I'm sure there'll be a price, guys. It'll be probably $300. It'll probably come with one of the games I want to get for $300, and I'll be good to go then. Um, and then the PS4, probably 2015, maybe? Ish? Or so? So, anyway... Anyway, guys, that's the end of my rant, and, of course, the Minecraft Builders, the hotel. Oh, if you guys like this episode, be sure to leave a like below, and let me know what console you're getting at launch, if you are, and if you're not, which one you're going to get first, or if you're not going to get any of them, just let me know. Just out of curiosity, just, just to see what you guys are interested in getting. And I'm sure there will be some people, some trolls being like, huh. Blah, 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 trolling, whatever, whether you're making fun of the PS4 or the Xbox One or the Wii U or the whatever, I don't know. I have no idea. So anyway, guys, I shall catch you all next time Whoops. for more of the Minecraft Builders, as always. I'm your host, the Alpha Tomato, and if you enjoyed this, go below, hit that like button, it really helps me out, and... Yep. I guess that's about it, and... Oh, that's right, I shut it off... In the last couple, not last episode, but the episode before, which realized that was the one where the sound didn't work and I multiplied everything. Basically, I forget who it was. Caitlin draws manga, I think. Maybe. If not, sorry. Um, wanted to do, this was a while ago, actually, do a, an, a fly. Fly over everything. Basically, show off everything. And, oh yeah, I mentioned it on that episode, which didn't work right. I added trees down. That's about it. Um, houses there. Slums. Houses. Bunch of houses. A giant hotel in the water. Guard house. Building thing. Guard uh, lighthouse. Uh, tavern. Water mill. Library. Farm. Farmhouse. Uh, dock, dock master store thing there. Little shops outside. Uh, the, the, the blacksmith. Alchemist shop. Library, bakery, houses, jail cell, barracks, hospital, little towers, wall separating the evil that's there, uh, da -da -da, theater, mini dock for fishing, uh, schoolhouse, little walkway here, walkway there, and stairs up there to what will be the castle will be up here at some point. And I do have some other suggestions at some point. Uh, university. Caitlin draws a manga. That was a while ago. A Hobbit Hole by Ras Raspberry Fairy 2012. Uh, Battle Arena Coliseum by Dark XL6. And I also have e Evil Houses in the Jungle. More Houses in the Jungle kind of thing. I, I mean, I make them evil. But they're not going to be a lot. They're not going to be next to each other. So I might, like, you know. Throw one over here, maybe one over there. You know, throw a throw a handful around. But that will be... <clears throat> Maybe I'll do one and then I'll go back to here. I don't know. I'll, we'll figure it out, guys. I'll figure it. You know, I'll figure out. You'll figure it out. Also, I actually have some, uh, some more ideas. 
of my own. Jousting arena, which I guess will go with the Coliseum type thing, which will be... Where am I going to throw that thing? That thing's gonna be, that's going to be... That's going to be, like, with the castle, that's going to be one of the two major builds. That's, like, you know, I have stuff that's taken two episodes. This, These things are going to take more than two. Oh, well, I'll probably put the Coliseum right here. And the castle right here. Which means I'll probably put some other stuff around here. I'm just going to, like, build everything out. I'm probably going to have another walkway going up here with more buildings here. The big castle, maybe part of the castle or something. I don't know. Where the maids and the butlers live. I don't know. We shall figure stuff out as we go along, as I've been doing. Because I had no idea what this was going to look like when I first started. No clue. Other than the docks, because that's what I started with, obviously. So, anyway, enough of ranting. I shall catch you all next time, guys, for more of the Minecraft Builders. See you guys later.